Hi everyone, welcome to another Hatton's Model Railway Skills Cast session. And today we're showing the beginners out there how to add a level crossing onto their layout. There's several different ways, all of which are really easy to do, but I will be covering some of the more advanced kits and items that you can buy, as well as the great items that we have available right now for those beginning your model railway journey today. It's something that really enhances a layout. You can add a lot of detail to a railway by adding a level crossing scene, whether you want to put some traffic on there or give a home to your diecast cars and buses too. If you've not watched them already, I do recommend having a look at our lane track and creating road skills cast videos, which are available right now on our YouTube and our Facebook channel too. So do have a quick look at those for more information. And if there's anything you'd like to learn here today, please do put a question in the chat and I'll answer as many as I can throughout the stream. So as you've guessed, I've got quite a lot of different items here today, and we will be covering a little bit of information on both the classic design of level crossings with the gates and some of the history there too, heading more to the modern level crossings with a lot more of the safety systems and the protection barriers that we can see here on the screen now. Only a little bit of bad news today. I've been having a couple of technical issues, so I've not got quite the usual amount of prototype photos out there. But I would recommend having a look through Google and other places to find some great resources for images of level crossings past and present. But let's get started. And I'll switch you over to the Hornby double track level crossing. This is exactly how it comes out of the box. The track is set to the set track track spacing and the track here is the same length as an Hornby R600 track piece too. This detail here is pre-printed so all the warning chevrons on the road are pre-provided. So it's a fantastic way to get started by putting a level crossing onto your layout and fitting that in with the track work that you already have. Now this is provided with separate different fittings on it. You can either have it with the crossing gates or indeed posable half barriers on there too. And I'll show you the latest style of those for you more modern modelers. These come in a pack, as you can see here, I'll just open that up. And you will need a craft knife to be able to put these together. They do come in a number of separately fitted parts, but they're very easy to just snap and glue together and start putting into place on your layout. For example, there we'd cut that sprue away, put this around onto the sign, and then that presses into place onto our level crossing as per so. So these really are great for beginners who may not have the skills to feel the need to start operating some of these bits and pieces. And again, just showing you how the barrier clips in there. That just goes straight in as per so. And then that also doubles as being fully posable too, so you can pose it in either position. That then clips straight onto the level crossing. I don't think I've done that quite the right way up there, but you can just see there now that the barrier is in place. Just need to go on the other side of the road actually for a UK road system. There we go. So that's now in place. And they're designed to go on to protect the road crossings so cars and other vehicles on the roads cannot drive through them. And then, of course, you have the warning signals there too to show that off. And I'll just cut back for a moment to the image of the level crossing there so we can call out some of the details on a modern screen. So as you can see there on the image, we've got quite a few different things and some different terminologies to look at as we have. We've got the warning lights themselves showing both different states. There you can see on the lights that they are the flashing red with the two red flashing on the top. Below that, the central light is a yellow light, similar to as you'd see on traffic lights on the UK road network. So the yellow light gives you the warning and then the red light is not to proceed past those lights once the barrier has come down. A lot of the more rural level crossings, as you can see here in the UK, are now automatically operated, detected by the trains approaching them. And these are electrically operated too. You can see some of the equipment boxes just to the bottom left of the image there. Of course, with various safety signage and the indications for road and rail users that the crossing is clear. 
We can just see about halfway down the class 158 on the right, there is a signal there too. This will be an indicator signal indicating that the crossing is safe to cross. But certainly on a modern layout, you can have this so it is all automatically operated as per real life. So that's a great start there with the Hornby pieces. You can get them in single track too. And with the modern chevrons on there, although you can get this with the crossing gates, the modern chevrons really do mean that this is a great option, mainly for you modern era modelers out there. But with the track already in place, it's a great addition to already put onto your layout. It's a little bit tricky to motorize it. It's a little bit trickier to put the lights working in it too. But if you are a modeler on a budget who wants to get a level crossing onto your layout really easily with the minimum of fuss, this is the way to go. So I'll just move that out of the way for one second and I will show you some more of the crossings we have available right now. So this is the Pico level crossing. This comes in various different shapes and sizes. And on this, I have put the level crossing gate. So this may be the more classic style that you are used to. You can still see these in some areas of the UK and they are mainly sometimes hand operated, sometimes by a winch located in a signal box or a similar place. And again, this is a fully posable level crossing so you can set that up yourself manually as the trains go past and the road opens up to road users. So again, a great, great item for you there. If you're a modeler on a budget and you want something that you can move around, you can pick up one of these Pico pieces. They're available in double O gauge and N gauge right now. And of course, everything that I've got here today is available if you click that link in the description. The great bonus with the Pico set, and I will just get a set of pieces for you now, is they are snap together kits. You need absolutely no glue whatsoever for these. And the curves are the same dimensions as the set track pieces you are no doubt used to. So I'll just put you back on that camera and you can see here, we've got our straight piece there. And then putting on the edge ramps is as simple as just snapping on the physical ramps, as you see here. These come without any markings, so you can add more modern road markings if you wish, but you don't see them that often on the more rural level crossings and certainly in the earlier eras of modeling. So they go together really easily. And the final bonus, I'll just show you this, how it works on here, is you can hook these together too. So if you've got a double track railway, or at more tracks even, you can plug them together on curves or on straights and you can make yourself a multiple layer level crossing just by clicking them together. And that again is the correct width for the UK railway system. So a really good little system there that you can use from Pico. Again, just putting the pieces in to just clip together and then press into the studs in the actual kits themselves. So this is very similar to the Hornby kit. If you're looking at getting a level crossing onto your layout, if you're a user of set track track and you're a modeler on a budget, you have got a little bit more you can do with this particular crossing, but do have a look. And again, we've got that there. Obviously in real life, these would have a lot wider gates and you can pick up some variety in the different gate pieces if you are looking for it out there, I'll show you a couple of examples of those now. This is a wooden kit by Laser Wood Kit, actually, by Ancourt and Models. This gives the wider gates that you can put on either the double track or wider level crossings out there. Really easy to put together and great to paint up in some of those colour schemes too. And of course, we have plastic kits. And if you'd like to check out more on these, don't forget to watch our Building Plastic Kits video for more information on putting a plastic kit together. But there's a lot of great options for you there. For those of you who are happy without lights, without automation on their level crossings, if you're a modeler on a budget, this really is a great way to get started. Whether you are using the Hornby level crossing as we showed you previously, and as we've got available here too, or if you are using the Pico level crossing. Now, dependent on your era, depends on which fittings you will need. The Pico level crossings come pre-packed with the level crossing gates. 
So a great few modelers of the steam era, but you can still see some hand operated gates out there in use on the UK's railways, even in 2020. The Hornby level crossings do come pre-supplied with both level crossing gates and level crossing barriers too. So perfect whether you are a modern or a steam era modeler. So have a bit of a look at both of those that we have available right now. Just showing you some of the other examples I've got here for you today. We've got Hornby single track level crossing, which is great for rural layouts. We've got some separately fitted crossing gates there from Pico. Another example of the curved fourth radius. They do a separate piece for the first, second, third and fourth radius and also the set track version there too. And headed up for you O gauge modelers, whilst there's not a track piece such as this, you can certainly buy all the separate pieces such as the level crossing barriers or the level crossing gates dependent on what you want. But if you are looking for something a little bit more advanced, if you want a lot more detail and you're not using the set track pieces out there, we've got you covered too. Have a look at something like this. This is one of many ranges that we have of more detailed crossing kits that are available. This is the wheels kit, as you can see here. This is designed for double O gauge and comes with all the pieces you need for a modern layout, but you can buy them separately too. We've got the road bed there. One common question we do get asked is what to put in between your rails if you are building a level crossing yourself. Are you building one from scratch? And this is a great kit to get to get all those separate pieces. If you're looking for it on our website right now, it's SSM319. And I really do recommend taking a look at that. It will give you all the pieces you need for the different road texture if you're not using one of the set pieces that we have on offer. You'll also find then, as we touched on with our prototype picture before, there's a lot more buildings now surrounding level crossings on the modern scene. And here we've got some CCCV posts for remotely controlled level crossings and the relocatable equipment building for the various electronics that do operate the crossings too. That's a great place to hide any electronics if you are looking for a full working light system, such as the train tech system that I have here for you. These are fully controllable and you can set the lights to detect when the trains run on the layout. If you're looking for more information on these, I would recommend clicking that link in the description. This is where it gets quite technical, but you can wire them up very similar to a signal operating out of the back of your controller, whether you are an analog or a digital modeler. And these ones even include sounds too. So you'll get the authentic sound of the barriers coming down when operated with this. Getting automated gates is a little bit trickier out there, so it's not something we have available right now. You can set them up if you want to set them with a servo motor or something similar. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, please do let me know and I'd be happy to do a feature on that too. But bear in mind that is a little bit more advanced if we are heading down that route. So if you are a beginner, for now, I'd advise sticking with either the Hornby or the Pico set track level crossings really easy to put together. You need no extra tools to be able to sort those out right now. But what about next to the level crossings? What about more details that you may have besides them? It's not just the level crossings after all that are available. As we can see here, we've got the road itself. We've got the various safety signs which are also available and, and included in some of the kits. On a lot of old style level crossings, you will find that they're accompanied in some cases by a crossing keeper's hut where the crossing keeper was based to open and close the gates manually as we are doing here on our board. And that was a job that was carried around for over a hundred years and again is still out there on some railways today. On some of the larger level crossings, you'll find that there's actually a signal box next to the level crossing, not only controlling the signals for the trains on the crossing, but actually having a big windlass in there too, which does open the gates rather than having to operate them by hand. So if you're a steam era modeler, you are looking for some more of those classic features. If you're a modern era modeler, a lot more crossings have been automated out there too. So you are looking at some of the modern features such as the Wills plastic kits that you can see here. But we can provide everything you need, whether it is more of the basic products such as the set track pieces that I've got here in front of me. And I'll give you one more close up of those just to show you again how easily they come together 
and come apart if you're joining on multiple tracks or if you are just making one set piece as you can see here they're really easy to set up you need no tools whatsoever just to be able to clip those together as you can see there they come together and come apart very very easily indeed if you're changing them over to different styles there we go just about comes apart and then of course as we mentioned towards the start of the stream you do have the hornby level crossings which are supplied with either the gates or the barriers too and you can start with one of these basic models as i've got here and enhance it in the future too you can add extra details from the kits you can add some of the different gates you can add the working lights if you wanted to too everything we have we have available for that right now so do check out the link in the description for all the models we have available right now from o gauge right down through double o gauge into n gauge whether you're a steam era or a modern era modeler so i hope you've enjoyed this little bit of an insight to some of the level crossing details that you can get and the terminology and different features that they have in real life too. I said, sorry, I've not been able to bring you just as many prototype images as I usually would have. I really do recommend having a look out there for different examples of level crossings across the network to inspire you. But if there is a certain type you'd like to see, or if there's some inspiration you feel you need, don't hesitate to get in touch with our customer experience team who would be more than happy to help you or give you any advice that you may need. Otherwise, don't forget to check out everything we have available right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information and all the latest model railway videos too. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.